Okay, YouTube. I'm out the car now. Just was in the car. I decided to take you guys on a couple of errands with me. So I just arrived at Walgreens, guys. I'm about to go in. Yep, I'm at Walgreens. So I'm about to go in Walgreens. Oh, free flu shots. Maybe I get my flu shots while I'm here. Okay, let me get a cart. I had to come to Walgreens for several things. Oh, tissue. Definitely need some tissue. Definitely need some tissue for my house. It's almost out of tissue. Let me get a cart first. Let me get a cart, guys. So I get some this tissue. Okay, so oh yeah, I mean we're all green guys. I had to come up here for several different things. I came up here, so I gotta get my kitty baby, my doggy baby, some uh cat food with some dog food. Then I gotta get a refill on my autistic daughter medication. And then I gotta get some must some more things while I'm up here in Walgreens. Oh, so these is on sale too. These 12 pack of rolls, toilet tissue for five dollars. Then I'm gonna get these. Instead of the other one, guys. Because the other one, I don't know how much the other ones cost. I'll have to put the other ones back. So I get you. I'm almost out of tissue at home. Try not to let myself run out. And I believe in catching the sale, guys. So, I got three things of tissue. That definitely should last for a while. Ah, uh, the girl's tissue. Okay. Um... Yeah, so guys, so yeah, I decided to come to Walgreens. Then I got to leave here and go to the post office. Guys, the last time I came up here, which was like two weeks ago, it's this lady came in here, grabbed three cases of 12 packs of pop, right in front of the customers, right in front of the cashier, and walked right out of here with those cases of pops. Bypassed the cashier. Did not stop to pay for them. She just grabbed the three cases of pop and went straight out the door. <laughs> Everybody, I was in the line paying for my my things. I swear, I was in. I was. I was so shocked. I had literally never in my whole entire life experienced or saw nothing like that before in my life. Never in my life. So I was, I was shocked. She just walked right on in, grabbed three square cases of pop, walked right on out, right out the door. Did not pay for it. Right in front of the cashier, right in front of everybody. She had no shame. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, let me talk to you guys in a second. Okay, bye. I feel like Walgreens don't run out a lot of stuff. These shelves is empty, guys. They need to be restocked back up. They don't run out a lot of stuff in these stores. So I'm trying to find out where they sell the dog food and the cat food. So I can get my kitty baby, my doggy baby, some food. Okay. Do you know where the aisle of the dog food and the cat food is at? No, okay, thank you. Oh, she's stocking up the shelf with him. <laughs> the dog food and the cat food. <laughs> the dog food. Okay. 
sale for $14.99 for the cat food. We yeah, and Mrs. got chicken, turkey, salmon, and ocean fish in this one. I got it because my cat is picking. Trying to see what's in it because I want to get something I know he can eat. I don't want to waste no money and buy in and he don't eat it. This got flavors of salmon and white. Eat chicken. Okay, this is chicken, turkey, and salmon. Tasty chicken flavor. He might like the chicken flavor one. You know you're recording. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think I'm getting my cat this and he better eat it. He better not be trying to be picky because I'm not coming back. So I'm getting my cat this one right here. And I gotta decide what I'm getting my doggy baby. My doggy baby, he eats anything. <laughs> he not picky. To the front. Okay, so he got some cat food for my doggy baby. How much this cost? Okay. And what this got in this got roasted chicken and rice and vegetable flavor up in here. Up in this one right here, guys. So I think my dog will eat this because she's not picky. Not at all. Yep, she's not picky. All right, talk to you guys in a second. Okay, I came here for two or three things. <laughs> okay, let me step over here with you. you she, she don't look like she's doing nothing right now. <laughs> okay, um, I want to get a refill on my daughter medication while I'm here. What's the birthday? Uh, for twenty nine ninety four. Four twenty nine ninety four. Mhm. The last name? Franklin. All right. Frank Triana. Triana. Mm-hmm. Okay. What prescription specifically are you trying to get a refill on? Oh, four of them. Okay. I need the names of them. Oh, I, I don't know. You know what? I know one of them is um Respiridol. And some of them I can't pronounce. They, they, the name is so long and weird. Okay. If you could spell it for me, I'll see what you're talking about. But I need to know the name. I know she got Respiridol. She got, uh, Lord have mercy. Okay, guys, I'm still at Walgreens. I get a couple more things, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get my flu shot while I'm here, and they got a new COVID shot that's out. I'm gonna get that while I'm here as well. I already signed up for it, so I gotta get a couple more things from Walgreens, and then I'll be done. I gotta get. Okay, I'm looking for the deodorant now because we need some deodorant in the house. I think that's it over there. I make sure. No, it might be over here. This is like the makeup aisle over here. We need some deodorant. Some deodorant. And get some air freshener. And that's it. And then I'll be done. All right. Talk to you guys in a second. Okay, bye. Yeah, guys, this Walgreens is empty. They got nothing in here. They need to restock this whole store up with items. They done ran out a lot of stuff up in here. So I'm gonna get ready to get my, they got a new COVID shot that's out. So I'm gonna get the new COVID shot that's out and then I'm gonna get my flu shot while I'm here. Get that on out the way. Cause I, like I said, I get my flu shots every year and I'm gonna get this new COVID shot they got, they got out. Cause COVID is very much still going around guys. So guys protect yourself at all times. Anyway, talk to you guys in a second. Okay, bye. Guarantee? Yeah. If, it's, if uh, Only if it's going to help you. You guarantee it's going to help you? Huh? If it's guaranteed that it's going to help you. Well, they can't guarantee me. The government ain't approved it to even be done. Wow. That's why the insurance company's not paying for it. Right. Let me ask you something. Is it FDA approved yet? 
know. That's why they said the government not paying. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's why they not paying for it. Please, if it's not FDA approved, mm -hmm. don't do it because... Oh, I'm not going to do it. Nah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, everyone needs that. Because, for your blood pressure, you need to write. Mm-hmm. I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I got Jesus. So, but I did. I told the lady I was going to pray for her when she said it. The cancer was spread all over her body. Mm -hmm. I told her I was going to pray for her. And I'm like, I feel so bad for her. Mm -hmm. But she said she going to... But she said she going to try to treat me anyways. And, and she was like, for right, then she said, won't be in the hospital six to eight weeks. And I said, when do you got to go? She said, tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Then I said, okay. Then she said she was trying to out, trying to take care of her little important business before I she went, go in. Because she knows she's going to be gone for a while. I went in at uh, New Year's Eve a couple of years ago. After I had a cramp that morning, it's in my stomach real bad. Mm -hmm. Really? And uh, I got up and went to the emergency room. I thought they were going to give me something to send me back home. I was in the house from, from December the 31st mm -hmm. until February. December 31st of February. Uh-huh. Oh, you was in there for a minute. In West Suburban. Too much. West Suburban's a good hospital. I like West Suburban. Mm -hmm. But you mm -hmm. know what? I had a good doctor because he said I was Yeah, I like West Suburban. That's a good hospital. After my um, pancreas had So I got the food right here for you. So what about the COVID? The COVID, we're going to hold off on it because our system is down, so it's not letting me process that one. Oh, it's not? Okay. Uh, you, I got 708-632-3008. Wait a minute. <laughs> so I have to come back for the COVID? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you a call uh, when you can come back. Okay. The process is going to be Okay, that's not good. Yeah. I guess I can get the shot up in this arm right here. Yeah. So that means you're just going to have to come back and see us. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm always up here anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always up here anyways. <laughs> Your way, which is good. Yeah, so you can stick me in this arm right here. Okay, all right, we're gonna stick in that arm. Okay. It's kind of good, don't get both of them at the same time anyway, because that cold shot probably gonna have me laying on my behind all day. So that way, yeah, it's good to uh, spread it out too. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's see what you got for me. Okay, we're Relax your arm. Okay. Got the flu shot here in my hand for you. Okay. Then a pinch. Easy breezy. Almost done. Ooh, how did you feel that? I tried to make it quick. <laughs> I see. I, 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 I barely felt it. Okay. Let's massage that in. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank so I got you. your new number. So, um, You too. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. All right, guys. I came up. I got this package. Talk to you guys in a second. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. So I'm at the post office. I had to come pick up this little package right here. This little package right here. I had to come pick it up. See, the thing about me is when my, I get packages and it's my mailbox is too small for these packages to go in. The mail carrier bring the packages right back to the post office and I have to come up here and pick it up. Same thing when I order packages, I order things and they come to UPS. UPS take it straight to the UPS store. I have to go to the UPS store and pick it up and I have to come to the post office and pick it up because my mailbox is too small for the packages to go in. And nine times out of 10, when UPS delivered my packages, my hallway door is locked. My door stay locked so they can't come in and just knock on my door and give it to me. So they'll take it to the UPS store and the mail carrier bring my packages to the post office. So I have to go to the UPS store, pick up my packages and the post office pick up my packages. I was at the UPS store yesterday picking up a package. Today I'm at the post office. All right, talk to you guys in a second. Wow.